So this is the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch Series 4, the brand new one, and I just picked it up a couple of minutes ago. I've been so excited for the Apple Watch, and I was excited for the iPhone as well, but this year the Apple Watch just kind of stole the show. It's, it, it's just so different from all the other Apple Watches, and I can't say that about the iPhone. So let's, I'm not even going to waste too much time. I'm going to show you around the box. So it's a very simplistic box. So up top right here, you got the watch. Uh, it's embossed into the cardboard. And then the rest of the sides, it's very clear. So no Apple logos, nothing. At the bottom of the box, you do get the Series 4, uh, some information about it, which spec you got. And then this, the box design is new. Of course, if you've watched an unboxing before this, you know that it kind of, opens up in a different way than it did before but it is cool so let's get to unboxing it so there is this pool tab right here like most of the new apple devices come with so let me just pull on it oh so the pool tab isn't like the iphone pool tab where it just comes off neatly it just kind of tears so interesting so i'm just going to tear this off ah that's uh I like to preserve the plastic, but eh, this one isn't getting preserved. It gets thrown away. All right. So putting that off to the side, let's look at the bottom of the box. So it opens up in a different way. So I'm going to try to remember this so I can properly seal this up. So I think you're going to have to lift it like this. All right. There's a flap underneath. I, f I don't know. Okay. Okay. So you got to, there you go. So now it opens up like this. Oh, wow. All right. That's so cool. So this is the actual box. Oh, God. All right. So the box uh, comes with a band underneath. So it actually comes like this. So it was packaged like this. So usually the band used to be inside the box, but no longer. And uh, let me remove this to show you guys what the inner packaging is like, which is super cool. Let me focus on this real quickly. So if you, you guys can see, it's all different kinds of Apple Watch bands and different kinds of case colors. Uh, very unique. Uh, it looks super cool. This part as a kind of box. It's, this is, I don't know what, it's just like more enforced cardboard. Overall, very cool looking. And let's look at the Apple Watch box itself. So at the, uh, on the top, very simple. Apple Watch, the time. Uh, Showing the time, the crown, the digital crown. Let me flip it over. All right, says the same stuff almost. Uh, it's got the design by Apple in California. And very simplistic here is the band. I did get the sport band. I was I actually should have gotten a different band, but I, I was so I was just rushing through the pre-orders, didn't notice that I got the wrong band. And I mean, these sold out so quick, I didn't have an opportunity to go back and order another one. So I'm gonna keep, anyways, I wasn't gonna use this. I was gonna switch out to the Milanese loop I have on my current Apple Watch, but eh, whatever. So let me open up the uh, watch band first. I'm not sure how this opens up. Is this supposed to just be a slide out box or, I mean, it seems very un-Apple to kind of glue this together. I'm sure that there's a more fashionable way to open it. There we go, there was a tab right there. So it says right here actually the, the type of band you have. So it shows me that I have the black sport band. So I'm just gonna, oh, oh, okay. So there is a tab right here. I'm gonna pull the tab and right here you get the Apple Watch band. Okay, so it explains how the band works right here. Let me focus onto that, yikes. All right, so how the band works, you know, how you adjust it, how you remove it, and there you go, two different uh, straps. So the small size is the larger size, and it looks really good. So um, in bright lighting, it looks dark blue, dark bluish, so it doesn't look absolutely black. Um, on the, the camera's picking it up as full black, but with the lighting I'm in, it looks light bl like dark blue. So I'm gonna put this to the side for a second and let's look at the Apple Watch box. So this is very unlike Apple to separate the box and the case and the, I mean, it's just the, I'm sorry. It's very unlike Apple to separate the band, to separate the watch. It's, it seems like a lot of steps, which usually Apple tries to avoid. So let me zoom in here and I'm gonna lift up the box. All right, box lifted off. 
right there we got all right so on the left the apple watch on the right our paperwork so the paperwork is just the same old stuff surprisingly i do not think we get apple stickers in this yep no apple stickers i did not know i have to i'd have to go back and check to see if the previous generation ones got apple stickers but that's surprising all right so let's look at the charger all right same same charger that you got in the previous version same power brick that you would get if you bought a fifteen hundred dollar iphone 10s max but what can you do uh and let's look at the main part of this unboxing and that is the watch itself so it now comes in this really cool like sleeve so right here this is a space gray sleeve um it's like alcantara cloth so it's supposed to protect it in the shipping i guess so let me so to, i i'm gonna pull this out i don't want to eject it out like super fast onto the floor or something all right so it's coming out oh already turning on i pressed the power button when i was trying to get it out and wow so right off the bat one thing that I can tell you is it, the corners look so much more rounded even without the display on so as you guys can see here it just seems like the uh, watch is itself a lot more uh, rounded off than it is on the uh, older series 2 uh, it looks pretty cool to be honest uh, now it looks a lot more different than the older ones but yeah there it is I mean what I'm gonna be doing is you know filming a little bit more with this and then giving you my file for like my impressions and the review later but uh, just showing you the watch right at the bottom. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, wow. So the bottom is uh, sapphire and ion X glass, and it looks so good. It's got the cer ceramic case as well. Uh, you get ion X on the aluminum bodied uh, Apple watches, and you get sapphire crystal on the uh, aluminum cased, uh, I'm sorry, the stainless steel cased uh apple watches so very nice i really like this look so just to show you guys a comparison of what you're coming from let me pull out uh let me take off my apple watch and show you guys what the back of that looks like really quick so all right i'm gonna take off the band so this is what the previous one looked like and now look at what the new one looks like it just looks so much more futuristic which is, I don't know, it just, I don't, you tell me which one you think looks more futuristic, but I think this one, the new one is just super cool looking. I love the way the reflective design is, and I don't have to worry about cleaning it because you'll never see it. Awesome. All right. And as usual, you know, the same bands fit your new watches, unlike uh, older Apple, you know, like a lot of times Apple does is they'll just be like, nah, we're going to drop support. But this time they kept support. Very cool. And as I said, I will be covering the uh, rest of the Apple Watch unbox, you know, review and initial impressions in another video and comparison, comparing it to my Series 2 and possibly a Series 3 as well, I'm not sure. But the thing is, I'm coming from a Series 2, so I want to see how big of a difference the speed is. So let me know if there's anything you guys want to see in the full review or, uh, you know, just FAQ about the Apple Watch. Let me know. I'll be glad to answer them in the next videos. So if you haven't already and you enjoyed the content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel for more content on the Apple Watch, the new iPhones, and just a bunch of new phones coming out next month. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.